African drums are talking. Land of contradictions, of dimpled ugliness and hideous beauty, where safety lies in attack and the lifeblood of the weak flows in the veins of the strong, where nature's eyes are prone to gleam with changing mood, where nature's voice first screams with rage, then whispers lullabies, where beckoning death is clothed in life's most gaudy hue, and all unfelt, unseen, creeps on with silent step. This is Africa. Professor Anton Edwards and his little party entered the whispering forest of death led by Ifabi, a beautiful native girl. They are searching for a hidden treasure supposed to have been left by ancient Roman invaders. Lorna and Ifabi were captured by a grotesque man-beast and taken to a village of prehistoric lake dwellers. The professor, Jack, and Unguru rescue them, and they once more take up the trail. A rainstorm pours over the forest, and while the white people take shelter, Ifabi steals off to meet Adako, son of the chief of her village, and together they plot to kill the white party once the treasure is transported to the edge of the forest. The rain has stopped as suddenly as it began, and we find the professor, Lorna, and Jack emerging from the shelter of some giant ferns. Oh, isn't it beautiful here now? The sun filtering through the trees, everything glistening. Yes, Lola. When you eventually find a part of African forest where the sun penetrates, the beauty of the place will always astound you. Especially after entering at night. Well, we're comparatively dry after that rain, thanks to those giant leaves. Yes, as soon as the forest begins to feel the sun, we'll have steam rising all around us. Where did Afabi go? She said she was going to look up at the ground ahead. But I don't see why she should. The trees are plainly marked. Yes, they're too plainly marked for my liking, Jack. Take a look at the place on this one. It was cut very recently. Why, there's earth rubbed into it. Take the newness off. Yeah. You think of probably noticed it? Probably. That may be why she went ahead. To make sure this was the right path. And Guru seems to have vanished, too. He went gliding off before the rain started. You never know where that son of midnight is when he gets into a place like this. Yes, one moment he's around, the next he's gone like a shadow. Well, let's follow those blazed trees. And Guru will find us. There are flowers peeping out from all angles. The first time I've seen them. I'm beginning to like this place. Well, even the trees have flowers in them. Look. Yeah, those are from the vines. They're hanging in garlands that link the branches together like decorations. I've never seen anything so beautiful. Well, there's a probably coming toward us. See the vapor rising around as she walks? <laughs> you don't notice it close to yet. Why, yes, the whole forest is steam. With that cat-like walk of hers, it probably looks like a wraith approaching. It gives her a filmy, unreal look, doesn't it? The way is plainly marked, that man. We shall be at the place of the treasure before the sun has reached her greatest height. Oh, that's good. When we get there, I think we'll take a good rest before doing much more. Father, hmm? isn't that an orchid growing there? Yes. Yeah. Yes, there are numbers of them around, if you look closely. Is that what's giving off that heavy perfume? It must be. Oh, they're gorgeous. Look at this one. There's no use trying to pick them, Lorna. They're not as hardy as the ones we have at home. They die within a few minutes. Well, there seems to be more and more of them as we advance. Yeah, the ground is fairly marshy here, and the rain we've just had brought them out. They're really a type of fungus. Oh, look at that beauty. Isn't it gorgeous? Uh, don't touch it, Lorna. Just stand there and watch it for a moment. Why, oh, it's changing colors. See it? Yes. The colors seem to be rising and falling in waves. It's constantly changing. What causes that, sir? Is it the type of bloom? Yes. It's so sensitive that the merest change of air current causes it to respond in that manner. Hmm. Now, if you touched it, it would probably shrivel up. <laughs> I don't know much about them, but it must be a rare specimen. What are you looking for, Lorna? The stem. It doesn't seem to be attached to anything. Oh, yes, it is. See that? Do you mean that very fine tendril? Yes. Why, it's as fine as a hair. Well, yeah, that's about what it amounts to. Well, let's go on. If Bobby's waiting. Oh, this is all so lovely, Father. Yes, my dear. It always strikes me the same way when I get in these places. The odor's getting heavy. Mm. It makes you catch your breath, doesn't it? We must walk carefully, white man. If Fabi feels that a devil is looking at us. All right, Fabi. 
Keep your guns ready, Jack. We mustn't leave anything to chance. Well, the place seems to have gone quiet suddenly. You notice it, sir? Yes. Even that whispering noise is gone. It does feel as if something is watching. Something hidden. As though waiting to... What's wrong, dear? Yes, yeah, so heavy, I... Feel sleepy. It's the hot steam rising. Besides, you haven't had any sleep for quite a while. Well, I hope you're right, sir, because... I I feel a bit sleepy, too. I wonder what's keeping him, Guru. Maybe i better fire a couple of shots and bring him in, eh? Yes, it... it might be a good idea. Well, what's the matter, Jack? Don't you feel... Well, Lorna. Lorna, don't lie down there, child. I... I want... Oh, this air... Hey, Bobby, get up. Which is the way out of this grove? It, it is too late, white man. The devils... They have dropped us. Get him, girl, sir. I can't... Hmm. Can't breathe. Jack, get a hold of yourself. We've got to get out of here. We've got to get Lorna. If Bobby, get up. You've got to show it. Is the sleep of death. <coughs> Those orchids. Oh, Lord, what a fool. I, I didn't think. Jack, Jack, get on your feet. Lorna's unconscious. Oh, yes, sir, I... I... Uh... Here. Soak your neckcloth. I'll put it over your mouth. Get foreigners and do the same. Yes. Yes. Lorna. Get get her on her feet. Yeah, Bobby. Come on, we've we've got to Lorna. Devil take them breath, huh? Guru. Take Jack and Lorna. I'll take you, Bobby. Uh huh. Oh, no, go. Hey, Bobby. Hold on to me. It is best to sleep. Lorna. Oh, uh, and girl, I... Come. Wana himiza. Come. Sta himili, missy. Sta himili, buana. All right, and girl, I'm coming. Devil breath. Him no good. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, that, oh, that's better. We, we seem to be out of the worst of it. All right, then, girl. I, I think I can make it now. Look after Lorna. Whew. Stop here and go. Uh, we seem to be out of it now, eh? Aye, Buona. Wind him blow from devil, huh? Yes, I think so. How's Lorna, Jack? She's moving. I think she's all right, sir. It's a good thing we got out before we went in too far. Uh, Give me me a drink of water, Jack. Here you are, dear. Oh, all that. That's good. All right, Lorna? Yes, Father. What happened? Is that what I call it? It is the breath of sleep. The white man's medicine is very strong. Uh, good thing him guru came when he did. We'd have been in there yet. Buana, him trail no good. Now, no. Where? Uh-huh. Why, George, he's right. It's just what I said, Jack. That other trail was blazed to lead us into that orchid belt. Well, was it the orchids that made us want to sleep? Yes, I'm sure it was. They poisoned the air. The wind was blowing from a spot where they grew in profusion. As soon as we got out of the line of it, we were all right. It's a good thing the wind brought it to us before we were in the heart of that place. Yes. Would have been ten times as deadly. Take a look at this tree, Jack. And Guru's found the right trail. You see that mark? It's an old cut, all right. Look, white man. Look between the trees to the open place beyond. There lies the place of the treasure. Well, is it as close as that? It is the place of the upright stones with the writing that no man may read. Mm. Come on, people. Let's get there. I want to have a good look at those stones. Oh, I can see them, sir. 
They looked like two small headstones out of the cemetery. If my theory is correct, that's probably what they are. And buried between the stones, a spear's length to the center, lies the box of iron. Oh, sounds awfully thrilling, doesn't it, Jack? It certainly does. But iron would have rusted long ago. What you think is true, sir? Yes, it would. Well, maybe I'm wrong. The keepers of the treasure bind the box around with new cloth each year, white man. It has been so for many hundreds of years. Mm. Well, maybe I'll be right yet. Yes, they're gravestones, sure enough. How's your Latin, Jack? Almost as rusty as that iron box must be. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, unless I miss my guess, there are Latin inscriptions carved on those stones. Yes, by George, there are. Come on, Lorna. You were in school last. Get to work on these inscriptions, huh? It's nearly all obliterated. There's only a part of a letter here and there. Well, there's enough to piece together a story, isn't there? No, no I don't believe there is, Lorna. That top line must be a name. It's larger than the rest. Yeah. There's an S. A T, and, well, that might have been a U in the first word. And there are eight letters in the word at one time. Hmm. Probably the same name as the one on the copy Fobby has. Septimus. Yes. He was probably buried here. So this earth has been turned over recently, sir. Yes, but I'm wondering what we're going to dig with. We now. must be quick, white men. The devils of the forest will not allow us to stay here too long. There are spades for digging. Hidden beneath that stone. Beneath huh? the stone? Oh, which way does it move, Fabi? It must be lifted from the earth where it stands. Come on, Jack, let's try it. Come on, give a lift in, Guru. All right, Buana. All ready? Okay. Uh-huh. All right, now lift. Okay. It's moving easily. You lift it right out. That's it. Now lay it down here. Yeah, now let's take a look. They are here, white men. All right, George, they are, too. Small native spades. What's that wrapped in cloth? It's stitched around. Uh, oh, that's... save that cloth, Jack. I'll need some for patching. Well, that's the first find, and it's a perfect one, too. A Roman short sword. This place must be full of priceless antiques. Come on, Jack, let's dig, eh? Oh, no! Look out, Ngoro! It's a throwing spear. It was meant for you, Ngoro. It is the spear of a duck Look out! Ah! 